I have developed one business work application to show how exactly the smart mapper works. Smart mapper works on five factors which are configurable as per the user's requirement. Now let's quickly jump into the demo. First thing which we need to do here is go to preferences. Here search for mapper. Under mapper enable the smart mapper. Now let's move to the first mapper activity. Earlier we had only auto map feature. So if we try to do mapping using auto map, we need to have the exact matching names and on the same level. So if we try to map the elements at the first level to the elements at the second level using auto map, it will not work. Here we need to specifically find the parent and do the mapping. Hence, auto map is not that much smart. Now, let's try to do the mapping using the smart mapper. The smart mapper traverses the whole tree to find the exact proper match. But here you can see date is of date object, but daytime is of daytime object. So, in that case, you can anytime tune the parameters while doing the smart mapping. Here we have this user recommendation threshold. You can change its value anytime to do more or less accurate matching. Now you can see that this date element is not mapped with this date time element. Hence the smart mapper is also giving flexibility to users to tune the mapping. Now let's move to the second mapper activity to show a very striking feature that's ancestor aware. Sometimes we often see that elements on the left hand side are not structured and we have scattered info while elements on the right hand side are flat structured and unified name like the customer name for which we just have to find the customer element and map name to it. That means on the left hand side names are kind of compound of all the ancestor. Now if we will try to do the mapping this will not work with auto map but Using the smart mapper, since the smart mapper traverses the whole tree and hence knows the ancestor. You can see that here customer name has been mapped to the name under the customer section and we have two different street addresses here, billing and shipping. So the smart mapper recognizes both of them correctly. Shipping street address has been mapped to the street under the shipping address and similarly billing street address has been mapped to the street under the billing address. This is ancestor aware, which is pretty cool and smart. But we can see that order ID here is mapped with the ID under the customer section, which is not correct. So in that case, let me introduce you the advanced tab. Let's remove this older mapping. Let's try to do the mapping again. Go to custom and then go to the advanced tab. We can anytime adjust and change the value of the factors affecting the mapping. Like the linguistic weight, ancestor, level difference, type and cardinality. Let me adjust the factor and give the maximum weightage to linguistic weight which means name and let's try to do the mapping again. Here now you can see this order ID has been correctly now mapped to the order ID as Naming has the highest priority. For the third mapper activity, I'll show you type awareness. We have type defined for each source element and the target element. The smart mapper will try to automatically find what is the most appropriate type for each source object. Like number will be mapped to number target element and similarly boolean will be mapped to boolean target element. Next mapper activity is based on cardinality. The word cardinality means how much does it repeat or if it's single. Like we have multiple student ID and single teacher ID in a system. So smart mapper will try to map the same cardinality with the same cardinality. Like here we can see student ID has been mapped to each student ID in the class and teacher ID has been mapped to the single teacher ID. These were the basic functionality of smart mapper. Now I'll go to the recommendation mapping feature. If we will consider the real world scenario where we have acronyms or abbreviations like here we have DPT standard for department and 
DOB for date of birth. These are similar but not exactly same. So here comes the power of recommendation system. First time when we will try to do the mapping, it will not give us the expected result. But if we will right click on the element and go to recommended mapping, we will get recommendation with the mapping score like here DEPT for department. Sometimes we can't even get the recommendation mapping like here order received to RPT. In that case, we can just drag and drop and map it manually. Let's manually map DOB as well. Since the learning mode of the smart mapper has been enabled, it will remember all the mappings for the rest of the session. Like even if we remove the mapping and do it again, everything will be mapped correctly. And most importantly, it learns the meaning of the link like date of birth to DOB. So even if the wordings are different, like here, birth date in place of date of birth, if we will try to do the mapping, we'll do the analysis and use the previous learning. Like here, you can see birth date was different from date of birth, but it still it has been correctly mapped to DOB. This was all about the smart mapper demo. Thank you.